Hey everyone, Naresh here, back with another video review where today we are going to review this full HD car DVR which is by Kuu. In other words, you can say it's a dash cam for your car which will be recording all the footage in HD quality. It comes with all standard features starting from the 3 inch display in the front of it, full HD camera, wide angle which is 170 degree and it's got a parking monitoring system in it as well. It supports 32 gigabytes of memory card which is a decent enough to record the HD footage as well. Well, it's got a motion detection system as well in there that is not bad at all. It's a loop recording so you do not need to worry about it that you have to change the SD card at all. These are the very decent feature and quite standard as well. It's also got the G sensor in there in case of accident this camera would lock the footage as well for you all the product specifications are available in the video description i do not want it to blubber them in front of the camera there were two extra features which caught my eye in this dash cam one was a wdr which will adjust the light while it's recording if you're coming from daylight to the dark actually so the recording is perfect actually you won't see a lot of changes in there you know proper recording sort of thing the second one is having the zoom on your camera zoom on your camera means that you're not recording the bonnet of your car so you can adjust the focus which is about 4x that's not bad at all so within this video first i'm going to show you what is included in this box for it and how camera looks like then first i'm going to only show you the recording of this camera but if you're only interested in watching the footage of it that how it records the timeline is available in the bottom right here just have a look into it straight away so with that all being said let's get into our review the box itself includes the following items adhesive bulkhead to mount the camera on your windscreen car charger with three meter lead one mini USB cable, a multilingual user manual, last but not the least, our HD camcorder. By the construction point of view, it is very nicely built. In the front of the camera, we have our lens, which is a four wide digital zoom with a 2.0 f. Right in the front here, we have an air vent only, not the mic. Mic is available in the bottom along with the reset button. Now, in the back of the camera, we have the navigational keys on one side and in the middle you have a micro SD card slot which takes up to 32 gigabyte of card. In the front we have a 3.0 inch LCD display. Next to it we have got the keys which is for OK menu and the setting option then is the power on and off. On the top of the camera you have a car charger which is provided within it and also a slot you see right there here which is to install the adhesive bulk head on your windscreen now let's quickly power it up so as soon camera powers up you're going to see the manufacturer logo along with the notification that is started recording by itself and that is what you want all right now by pressing the ok button you can stop the recording once recording is stopped then you can access all the menus so by clicking onto this M button, which is a mode button, at the moment we are in the camcorder mode. But if you click it again, it's going to be in a capture mode to capture the photos. Then if you click it again, you are into the menu where you can watch what footage has been recorded inside. By clicking it again, you can go back to the recording feature. Now if you wanted to go into the settings, by simply clicking onto this third button down here, there we go we are in the settings right here where you can select the resolution loop recording exposure recording audio or not or you want to take the motion detection date stamp WDR and also the G sensor and so many other things you can do but if you wanted to see the other further more settings by just simply clicking the setting button again you can go into it no problem whatsoever where you can change the dat, auto stop, beeping sound or if you would like to record the microphone and anything like that. Simple and straightforward menu guys. There's no fuss about at all. So I managed to install this dash camera on my car within the five minutes and able to hide all the wiring just easily in here straight into the cigarette lighter. So as soon you get it in, 
straight away you're going to see that camera will start up now i have also put it into the screen saver mode if it's recording for three minutes or so on or if it's been powered up for three minutes or so after that this screen will go up off but the camera will be recording in the background for me that is a very handy to have when you are driving in the dark you can also put your number plate within the menu as well that is also a good feature now with that all been said let's get into the demonstration of it while it's in the daylight and also in the night.